All right, here we are in the classwork for 3.15, and the goal for today is to do 1 through 4. So 1, 2, and 3 are on the first page. And then on the second page, that's still more 3, and this is 4. So you're doing all of it. Okay, but it's pretty straightforward, um, so it shouldn't be too scary. First question says, name the quadrant in which each of the points lies. If the point does not lie in a quadrant, specify which axis it lies on. So remember the quadrants, you might want to draw yourself the picture. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, the tricky one is like part C. Part C, zero, negative four would be technically down here, I put a purple dot. Okay, so it's not in a quadrant, but it's on an axis. Okay, so your answer here would be the y axis. All of the rest of them lie in a quadrant. Um, number two, use a picture. Three, you're just plotting the points. Okay, um, the one question to pay attention to is like in part A here, point E. Negative 2, point 8. So over to negative 2, point 8 would be just below the 1. So that would be point E there, where I marked it in the green. Okay. And then, you know, similarities in the order pairs, differences. What kind of line do they form? You know, is it a straight line? Is it horizontal? Is it vertical? That's that question. Sim and then same thing at the top. And then four here, give five ordered pairs that have an X coordinate of six. X coordinate being the first one is six. So like six and then something. You're giving five of them, okay? Any five. Keep the numbers under 10. You know, maybe start with like six, one, wouldn't hurt. And then just answering the um, questions based off of what you see, okay? So they're all good questions, good thinking questions. If you need more help, you can come to office hours or send me an email.